Hey friends, so this is a very quick tutorial on how to download and install ImageJ or Fiji on your system. If you clicked on this video, you've probably seen this error sign. It's very annoying, but don't worry, there's an easy fix. Let's start off with the Mac first. Now just a note, ImageJ is a legacy software and Fiji is just the same thing, but with a bunch more plugins and functionality. But for the most part, ImageJ should work fine. All right, so open up your browser and head to this link. I'll also leave a link down below. Once you do, you'll end up on a site like this and you can just click on one of these here. Now this other link also works in my experience. So if the first one's giving you some trouble, just download the other one. Once you've downloaded the zip file, open it up and that's basically the app. Now you can either download it right here in the downloads folder, but I like to drag it into the applications folder so you can access it from the launch pad. Now when you click to open the app for the first time, you'll probably see this annoying little error message where it's saying it doesn't really recognize the developer and it may be a virus. But don't worry, it's very safe. I've used it for years on multiple different machines and haven't had any issues. So to get rid of this, just go to settings or system preferences or even system settings, depending on what version you're on. Then click on security and privacy and then make sure you're under the general tab. And then you should see this at the bottom where it's identified an app trying to open. So just click on open anyway, and it'll then ask you to make sure and click on open. And that's it, pretty simple. Now for Fiji, it's the same process, but it has a different download link. So just go to this link. Again, I'll put a link down in the description. Click on whichever mirror link and it will start downloading. Now this one's like four times the file size, so the download may take a bit longer. Anyway, so once you open it up, ignore the error message, just go to settings, security and privacy, and then click open anyway. And by the way, if you're on macOS 13 and above, so that'll be macOS Ventura or Sonoma at the time of the recording, then your settings app will look a bit different, but it's basically the same thing. So just on the bar on the left, find security and privacy. And if you scroll down, you should see the open anyway button. All right, now let's move on to Windows. Again, go to the same link. And by the way, you can just literally type ImageJ download in Google and it'll come up. Click on the Windows link this time and it'll download a zip file. Now it may take a few minutes depending on your connection. So I'm just fast forwarding it here. And once it's done, open up the zip file and drag out this folder called ImageJ. Now you can put it anywhere, but I like to just put it in the same downloads folder for now. And once that's done, just double click on the ImageJ application icon and you should be good to go. Now I know sometimes it's a bit different on Windows where it asks you to extract some files to a certain location. So if that's the case, just export it somewhere and ultimately look for the exe file and double click to open it. All right, now if you don't have access to a laptop and you've just come with your iPad, there's still some hope. Now I don't have an iPad, so I'm just showing you this on my phone. So open up Safari and head to this link, give it a second to load, and there you have it. It's like a compromised slower version of ImageJ, but it does the job. So for example, you could click on file and then open, and then just open up an image. Then you can do whatever you like with it, make brightness and contrast adjustments, or even take the Fourier transform. All right, that's it for this one. I hope you found it helpful. If you know someone that's struggling, just send them the video. All right, see you in the next one. Stay curious.